All right, what is going on everyone? Uh, today we are looking at lead code number 19. It's called remove the nth node from the end of the list. And so here we have a list of one, two, three, four, five, and the number n here is two. So we wanna take one, two, we wanna remove that nth node from the end of the list. Okay, so we remove that four, we return uh, that list, the original list, but with that nth node removed. Here we have one, so we're gonna go back one. This is the first node, we remove that. It returns an empty list. Here we remove the two, okay? And one of the things that we have to look at is, is that can we do this in one pass? Okay, so let's jump over here in the conceptual. And so here we have a list of one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and our n is gonna equal two. And we have to figure out, well, how are we gonna remove this nth node right over here? Well, one way we could do this is we could get the length of the list. We could just go ahead and iterate over this entire list here and get the len. The len would be five. Okay, and then we could do len minus n, which will give us our remove index. Okay, that will, that will tell us that here is our zero, one, two, and three. Len minus n, three minus five, or five minus three, two, it's gonna be three, and this is gonna be the index that we wanna remove from. And so the way we could do this is we could just create a previous and a current, and we can just iterate this until we get to, until current equals that index three, Okay, current will get over here to index three, and then we can just go ahead and break this pointer over here at previous and set it to current.next. Okay, now this wouldn't be doing this in one pass. This would be two passes because we're gonna have to do a whole first pass to get the length, and then we're gonna have to do a whole another pass to go ahead and find the index and remove it. The other issue is, is what if, what if the node that we want to remove is one, right? If we're setting a previous and a current here, then um, if we have to remove this first node here, then what we want to do is have this be the new head, and that, that wouldn't work either using this method, okay? So let's think about this in another way. Let's go ahead and clear this out, and let's say we have our input here, one, two, three, four, and five, and n is gonna equal two. How do we do this in one pass? Well, let's say we have, we have a tail node, okay, and we set it here. And we only increment it n times, okay? So tail's gonna go one and two, okay? So our tail's gonna be there. Now, our previous, we're gonna set it to a dummy node that comes right before the head. And we can just set it to minus one. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and set this dummy node to previous. And then our current now is going to be, or we can call this remove node. Okay, that's gonna be the node that we're gonna remove. We'll set that at the head. And our tail is at three, it's at n. Well as we move n times from the front. Now we just increment these three pointers all the way until the tail equals null, until it gets out of the list, and let's see where our pointers land. Okay, so we increment this tail over here, remove node over here, previous over here. We go ahead and increment our tail over here, remove node over here, and previous over here. And then our tail is gonna equal the null uh, our remove node is going to land right here where, uh, on the node that we want to remove, and our previous will be right before it. Now, if we want to remove this, it's as simple as breaking this pointer uh, that's uh, pointing to the for node and just have it point to remove.next, okay? And because we're using this dummy node, even if we have to remove this node number one, we can do that. We're not gonna run into any bugs. 
we can just go ahead and break this and set it over here and then we just we just keep a reference to this head here we can say dummy head and then we return dummy head dot next okay and so what is our time and space complexity uh, with this well our time complexity how many times are we iterating over the list we're only iterating over the list once so it's going to be O of n okay and then our space complexity how much space are we uh, creating relative to the input well let's see here we have to create a pointer for previous we have to create a dummy node we have to create a tail pointer and we have to create a remove node pointer so no matter if the input size is 500 or it's 5 the amount of space that we have to create is constant okay it's the same amount of space so our space complexity will be uh, constant space okay so let's go ahead and jump into the code here and so first thing we want to do is go ahead and create our our dummy head okay and we'll set that to new list node and we can set this to minus infinity or you can set it to minus one any anything is fine any any of those is fine and now we want to have a reference oh well first we want to say dummy head dot next is going to equal head so it, it does connect to our input and now we want a reference to that dummy head so we can say let result head equal dummy head we're going to want this because we're going to we're going to increment that dummy head all the way um, in, uh, through our previous and so we do want a reference to it to it that way we know um, that we have that we can return something at the end and then we can create a counter here to go ahead and find our correct um, our correct area for our nth node, our remove node. So we can also have a tail here, so let tail equal head. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to say while count is less than n, we're going to go ahead and increment the tail. Okay. And now what do we want to do? We want to create a current node or we can say remove node to head. Our prev is going to be our dummy head. Okay, and now what do we want to do? We want to increment our tail all the way to the end. Okay, so tail is going to equal tail dot next our removed node is going to equal removed node dot next okay, and our prev is going to increment okay now that we have these all in the correct position okay remember here all of these variables are going to now be in the correct position when tail gets to null, what are we going to do? We're going to say um, prev dot next is going to equal remove node dot next. Okay, and now what do we want to do? Well, we have this result head reference here to our dummy head. We're just going to return result head. dot next okay let's see here we want to increment count here okay and that does it and so this is in one pass 
its linear time and constant space. Okay, so important thing to remember about this is using that dummy head method. It's a, it's a really important thing. Anytime you're dealing with any sort of linked list problems that are dealing with uh, addition or deletion, where you have to remove a node or add a node, really consider using a dummy head, some sort of node that just has, uh, you know, a, uh, it could be any sort of value in there that goes right before the head of the node. It just makes deleting, uh, it takes out a lot of the edge cases, whether that node is the first node, the last node, any of those things, it just kind of um, gets rid of any of those edge cases. So that is leak code number 19, remove nth node from the end of the list. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one.